In Pinellas County, officials say if you are in a mandatory evacuation zone, that's zone A or a mobile home anywhere in the county, you should already be out. They have seen flooding across the county since before 8 a.m. and water is quickly rising and officials expect things to get much worse with unprecedented storm surge. Fox 13's Kaylee Tracy is live in St. Pete Beach. Uh, Kaylee, how are things looking? Well, we're right next to Hotel Zamora here, and Jim just talked about those wind gusts. We're certainly feeling the strongest ones of the day so far, and those gusts are pushing the already flooded streets, that water here even further, seeing this water rise quickly just over the past, I would say, 45 minutes to an hour that we've been here. And Gulf Boulevard just past the Don Cesar on the way to Paso Grill. It was nearly impassable. That was around noon today, about two hours ago, Pinellas County. Sheriff's Office. The deputies just tweeted out that they're currently assessing areas expected to be hit the hardest in Zone A, and they strongly are urging anyone who is still there, if it's safe to do so, get out now. They say you should have already been gone, but the storm's peak, it's not even here yet. They're already seeing what they are calling concerning conditions. Now, despite that mandatory evacuation order, we've seen several people out and about on the beaches this morning. Some tell us they're staying here and have prepped their homes. And we've seen plenty of flooding across the streets at the beaches already today, as we mentioned. Remember, again, this is before the predicted five to eight feet of storm surge. We got four feet during Idalia, just for some perspective there. Two PSTA buses did a final sweep up and down Gulf Boulevard this morning. That was to pick up anyone who still needed a ride to a shelter. County leaders, they didn't mince words earlier today, saying there's going to reach a point when first responders won't be able to reach you or help you and they don't want to risk getting their people killed as the sheriff put it because people don't listen to evacuation orders and they have been there for you they helped people during ada they helped people during adelia and i'm sure we will see heroic acts today but there will come a point where they cannot respond and you will be on your own And local leaders say while some roads, as we keep mentioning, are already flooded, they expect things to get much worse. Peak times are going to be late this afternoon and overnight. And they say the water won't dissipate until the morning. That's when they can get out and do more damage assessments. St. PPD just tweeted out as well. They're starting to limit access to vehicles in and out of Shore Acres and Snell Isle. They're only allowing residents who live in those areas to come into that area. Of course, we've seen time time again that area flooding and keep saying this but the storm surge is going to be the big issue late this afternoon and later this evening the sheriff also saying they don't want to have to close the barrier islands but they need everyone to help them if you are in the way of them doing their job they have to make a lot of rescues that's going to take a lot longer for them to get things back to normal so heed their advisories listen to the warnings because they say this storm it's nothing to mess with guys back to you